वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर एस आर साकने असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ एग्रोनॉमी एट सदगुरु कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज चॉइस ऑफ क्रॉप्स एंड वराइटीज इन ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग फर्स्टली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट विच पॉइंट शुड बी कंसिडर्ड वाइल द सिलेक्शन ऑफ द क्रॉप्स एंड वराइटीज अंडर द ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग इन विच फर्स्ट पॉइंट वी शुड कंसिडर दैट ऑल द सीड्स एंड प्लांट मटेरियल शैल बी सर्टिफाइड ऑर्गेनिक देन द स्पेसिज एंड वराइटीज कल्टिवेटेड शैल बी एडोप्टेड टू द सॉइल एंड क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशंस एंड दैट शुड बी रेजिस्टन्स टू द पेस्ट एंड डिसीजेस that means whatever the material and the seeds we are using that should be certified and produced under the organic farming and whatever the species and varieties cultivated that should be suitable to the various soil and the climatic condition and they should be resistant to the pest and diseases then in case of the choice of varieties genetic diversity shall also be taken into the consideration while the cultivation of the specific crop under the organic farming when the organic seed and the plant material are available that that shall be used then when certified organic seed and the plant materials are not available in that case chemically untreated conventional seed and the plant material shall be used that means when we doesn't get the certified organic seed and the plant materials at that time we should use chemically untreated conventional seed and the plant material then the next important point that is the factors influ uh, influencing the decision on the selection of the crops and the cropping system that means when we are selecting a particular crop and the cropping system under the organic farming there are certain number of the factor that affecting on the decision making these are as in that first factor the farmer needs to answer all the below questions while making the decision for choosing a crop or any cropping pattern under the organic farming during this decision making process the farmers cross check the suitability of the proposed crop or the cropping system with their existing resources and the other conditions then thereby they justify choosing or rejecting a crop or the cropping system that means farmer have to justify the whether why he has selected certain crops or the cropping system or whether it is rejected in both the condition he has to given his justification regarding the selection of the crops or the any cropping system under the organic farming then this process enables the farmers to undertake the sort analysis internally which in turn guides them to make an appropriate decision so the in sort analysis e s stands for the strength then w for the weakness o for the opportunity and t for the threats so in this way farmer should undergo this sort analysis while the selection of the uh, particular crop or the cropping system in the appropriate decision making under the organic farming then the next important factor that affect on the selection of the crops or the cropping system that includes the climatic factor and under the climatic factor is the crop uh, crop or the cropping system that is suitable for the local weather parameters such as the temperature rainfall sunshine hours relative humidity wind velocity wind direction season and the agro uh, agroecological situations that means there is all the factors which are responsible for the decision making of the certain crops or the cropping system then the next important factor that is the soil conditions and this soil condition in which is the crop or the cropping system that is suitable for the local soil type ph of that soil and the fertility status of that soil also then the next important factor that is the water 
do you have the adequate water sources like the tank well dam etc then do you receive the adequate rainfall is the distribution of the rainfall suitable to grow the identified crops is the water quality is suitable then is electrical uh, electricity is available for the lifting up of water and do you have the pump set or any micro irrigation system this all the answer have to given by the farmer then next important factor that is the cropping system options in which the farmer have to answer the questions like do you have the opportunity to go for the intercropping mixed cropping then multi storied cropping system relay cropping or the crop rotation then do you have the knowledge on the cropping system management then the next important factor that affect on the decision making of the crops or the cropping system as the past and present experiences of the farmers what were the your previous experiences with regard to the crop or the cropping system that you are planning to choose then what is the opinion of your friends relatives and the neighbors on the proposed crop or the cropping system then the expected profit and the risk then how much profit are you expecting from the proposed crop or the cropping system whether this profit is better than the existing crop or the cropping system then what are the risk you are anticipating in the in the proposed crop or the cropping system then do you have the solution can you manage the risk then is the worth to take the risk for the anticipated profits then another important factor that is the economic conditions of the farmer that including the land holding are the proposed crop or the cropping system that is suitable for your size of the land holding then are you financial are your financial resources are adequate to manage the proposed crop or the cropping system and if not you can mobilize the financial resources through the alternative routes then the labor availability and the mechanization potential can you manage the proposed crop or the cropping system through your family labor if not you do you have the adequate labors to manage the same then is the family or the higher labor equipped to handle the proposed crop or the cropping system then are there any mechanization options to substitute the labor is the machinery is available and if available it is affordable or not then it is cost effective or not and is the family or the hired labor equipped to handle the machinery then another factor is the technology availability and the suitability is the proposed crop or the cropping system is suitable then do you have the technologies for the proposed crop or the cropping system do you have the extension access to get the technologies then are the technology is economically feasible and the technically viable and the last one are the technologies which are complex or the user friendly that means it can be easily handled by the farmer or not then next important factor that is the market demand and availability of the market infrastructure are the crops proposed in the market which having the demand then do you have the market infrastructure to sell your produce do you have the organized marketing system to reduce the intermediaries then do you have the answer for the question such as where to sell when to sell whom to sell then what form to sell in and what price to sell for do you get the real time market information and market intelligence on the proposed crop in this way the farmer has to consider file the selection of the particular crop their species any varieties or the cropping system for a organic farming they have considered about uh, this all the factors we have discussed in detail here thank you